may peace be on all of you myself dr majid khan associate professor loknate dr j d pawar college of pharmacy kalwan nasik previously we have discussed about the chemistry and sar of cardiotonic in lecture 1 now today or in this video we have discuss about the source and common name of cardiac glycoside now let us start sources and common name of cardiac glycoside cardiac glycoside mainly occur in plant digitalis lanata and digitalis purpurea now the first source is that is digitalis lanata it consists of three glycoside that is lanatoside lanatoside a lanatoside b and lanatoside c so it is a structure of lanatoside a as we seen in previous lecture about the chemistry of cardiac glycoside it consists of two part a glycon part and glycon part a glycon part means non sugar part which consist of steroidal nucleus and glycon part consist of various types of sugars so in case of lanatoside the a glycon is digitoxygenin and it is attached to glycon part through the hydroxyl group on third position of a glycon part to the glucose and uh, to the glycon part here the glycon part is three molecule of digitoxo sugar and one molecule of glucose which is attached terminally so in this structure a glycon part is digitoxygenin attached to first sugar that is digitoxo sugar again there is second sugar digitoxo sugar and third one is acetyl digitoxose means acetyl group attached to digitoxo sugar and finally fourth or terminal sugar is glucose so it is a structure of lanatoside a so the sequence of lanatoside a is digitoxygenin which is a a glycon part attached to digitoxose 1 digitoxose 2 and three acetyl digitoxose and finally the glucose molecule similarly second glycoside in digitalis lanata is lanatoside b in case of lanatoside b the a glycon part is digitoxygenin and glycon part is same as lanatoside a so the structure sequence of lanatoside b is digitoxygenin digitoxo sugar 1 digitoxose 2 3 acetyl digitoxose and glucose then third one is lanatoside c again here the o glycon part is digoxygenin and remaining glycon part is same as lanatoside a or lanatoside b so the structure sequence is of lanatoside c is digitoxygenin as a glycon part digitoxo sugar 1 digitoxose 2 3 acetyl digitoxose 3 and glucose so it is the first source of cardiac glycoside that is digitalis lanata it consist of lanatoside a lanatoside b and lanatoside c next source is digitalis purpurea so digitalis purpurea consist of two glycoside first one is purpurea glycoside a and second one is purpurea glycoside b so this purpurea glycoside a and b have identical structure to lanatoside a 
and then it was site B but with no acetyl group on third digit oxose sugar. So here linotoside A sorry here digital is per, uh, purpuric glycoside A and B having the same structure as linotoside A and B only exception is there is no acetyl group present on third digit oxo sugar in case of purpurea glycoside A and B. So the sequence for purpurea glycoside A is digitoxygenine, digitoxose 1, digitoxose 2, digitoxose 3 and glucose. The sequence for purpurea glycoside B is digitoxygenine as a glycon part then digitoxose 1, digitoxose 2, digitoxose 3 and finally glucose molecule. So again in summary the structure of purpurea glycoside A and B is same as linotoside A and B only there is an absence of acetyl group on third digitoxose sugar in case of digitalis purpurea glycoside. Here there is no purpurea glycoside C. So in tabulate form, easy to understand, source, two sources, digitalis lanata and digitalis purpuri. Glycoside, digitalis lanata consists of linotoside A, B and C. Digitalis purpuri contain purpuri glycoside A and B. In case of Digitalis lanata glycoside, a glycon part. In case of lanatoside A, a glycon part is digitoxygenine. In case of lanatoside B, a glycon part is digitoxygenine. In case of lanatoside C, a glycon part is digoxygenine. And the glycon part in all three lanatoside A, B, C are same. Similarly, in case of purpurea glycoside in case of purpurea glycoside a a glycon part is digitoxygenine same as linotoside a purpurea b glycoside having a glycon part digitoxygenine same as linotoside b but in case of linotos but in case of purpurea a and b the glycon part is different from the linotoside A, B, C. As we discussed, purpurea A and B not contain acetyl group on digitoxo sugar. So, in case of purpurea glycoside, glycon part is glucose fourth molecule, digitoxo third molecule, digitoxose 2 and digitoxose 1. So, here there is no acetyl group on digitoxo sugar. Then hydrolysis of these glycosides. The primary glycoside, linotoside A, linotoside B, and linotoside C, are acted by a specific enzyme, which split terminal glucose, give secondary glycoside, acetyl digitoxine, acetyl digitoxine, and acetyl digoxine respectively. It means that a specific enzyme remove the glucose that is terminal glucose is removed by a specific enzyme. So if we take linotoside A, a specific enzyme remove the glucose and form acetyl digitoxine. If we take linotoside B, after removal of glucose, it form acetyl digitoxine. In case of linotoside C, after removal of glucose, it forms acetyl digoxine. Second point, the D-acetyl linotoside A, B and C can be obtained by alkaline hydrolysis of corresponding linotoside. So, after alkaline hydrolysis, linotoside glycoside give D acetyl linotoside. So after alkaline, there is a removal of acetyl group. 
So, <coughs> lanetocyte A after alkaline hydrolysis remove the acetyl group and it form D acetyl lanocyte A, B and C and it is called as purpurea glycoside A and B. So, lanetocyte A after alkaline hydrolysis it form the purpurea glycoside A. Similarly, lanetocyte B after alkaline hydrolysis it form purpurea glycoside B. Then purpurea glycoside A by the enzyme specific enzyme it form digitoxin. So, in this reaction left side lanotocyte A after alkaline hydrolysis form purpura glycoside A and uh, this purpura glycoside A with a specific enzyme it form digitoxin. On the right hand side lanotocyte A by the enzyme specific enzyme acetyl digitoxin formed after removal of glucose molecule and this acetyl digitoxin after alkaline hydrolysis form the same product that is digitoxin. Now see the same this reaction in chemical reaction. So here the structure of lanetocyte A. So as we discussed lanetocyte A contain digitoxygenin as a glycon part which is attached to first molecule of digitoxose which is attached to second molecule of digitoxose which is attached to third molecule of digitoxo sugar with acetyl group and terminal is glucose. So from we see a right side reaction first. So right side in right side lanetocyte A by the enzyme called as a specific enzyme which remove the glucose molecule from lanetocyte A to give acetyl digitoxin. So lanotocyte A by the enzyme specific enzyme remove the glucose and it form the acetyl digitoxin. This acetyl digitoxin upon alkaline hydrolysis which remove acetyl group it form digitoxin. So, it is a right side reaction. Now, on left side lanotocyte A after alkaline hydrolysis that is removal of acetyl group it form purpurea glycoside A which which after a specific enzyme which remove the glucose it forms same product digitoxin. So it, here there are two enzyme first enzyme is a specific enzyme which remove the glucose second enzyme that is after alkaline hydrolysis there is a removal of acetyl group. So, in summary lanetocyte A form digitoxin as a final product. Therefore, the sequence of digitoxin sorry the sequence of digitoxin is digitoxygenin as a glycon part attached to digitoxus 1 attached to digitoxus 2 which is attached to digitoxus 3. So, here in this sequence of digitoxin there is no glucose molecule and there is no acetyl group. So, in short lanetocyte A after removal of glucose molecule and after removal of acetyl group it form digitoxin. Similarly, if we take lanotocyte B and carry out same reaction then it form digitoxin. The sequence of digitoxin is digitoxygenin which is a part attached to digitoxos 1 which is attached to digitoxos 2 which is attached to digitoxos 3. So, lanotocyte B after removal of glucose molecule and after removal of acetyl group it form digitoxin. Similarly, digoxin obtained from the lanotocyte C by the same reaction. So, so lanotocyte C after removal of glucose 
and acetyl group it formed digoxin the structural sequence of digoxin is digoxygenin attached to digitoxus 1 which is attached to digitoxus 2 which is attached to digitoxus 3 so here three cardioglycosided form digitoxin digitoxin digoxin by lenatocyte a b and c respectively so it is about the source and common name of glycoside thank you in next lecture that is lecture 3 we discuss further about the mechanism of action and toxicity of cardiac glycoside thank you thank you very much